Many times, the solution of a problem results in a graph. The most common type of graph is a line plot that plots a vector y against a vector x, or in other words, a plot of the function y equals f of x. Let's see how to make a line plot in MATLAB. So let's try and plot a circle using the uh, plot uh, function. Um, here I've opened a script and already saved it as circle.m. We have our first line in place. So let's use polar coordinates. So I will define a theta variable to be equal to the lin space 0 to 2 pi. So these are uh, the default here is 100 points, so we'll take the default. So 100 evenly spaced points between 0 to 2 pi, so we'll go around the circle. Uh, we can define then the x and y coordinates. Here x is cosine theta and y is sine theta. Okay, so that goes around a whole circle, so if we just plot y versus x, so plot x comma y, that should give us a circle. So let's run. And there, that's our plot. Um, unfortunately, it looks like an oval and not a circle. The default in MATLAB is that the spacing in the x-axis here, from minus 1 to minus 0.8, is uh, larger than the spacing in the y-axis. So that's why it looks like an oval. We can fix that with the command axis equal. So let me add that. Then we can run again. And now we have something that looks like a circle. Okay, so um, still not uh, as nice as I would like it to be. Uh, for instance, the um, it's very tight on the y-axis, but very uh, loose on the x-axis. So I would like that to look to the same. So I can define the um, use the axis command to say that x goes from minus 1.1 to 1.1. And y goes from minus 1.1 to 1.1. So if we run this, then the x and the y axis should go to the same uh, limits. And that looks much cleaner. Um, again, the default in MATLAB is doing something strange that the uh, tick marks on the x axis are not the same as the tick marks on the y axis. So I would like to fix that too. Um, the way that we can do that is to use this get current axis command or function. X equals get current axis gets what's called the handle to the current axis. And then using this handle, we can set the tick marks. So the right syntax looks like this. We have this uh, dot syntax, so x dot x tick, uh, capital X, capital T, and we can set the tick marks at minus 1, minus 0 0.5, 0, 0.5, and 1. And x dot y tick, we can set the y tick tick marks. So when we run this one, we see that the tick marks have been set to be the same on the x-axis and the y-axis. So um, you need to find how to do this. Uh, either Google it on the web or you look at the help pages. I'll show you the help pages in a moment. The last thing I want to do to, uh, to make this a, the plot that I want to plot is to put the label on the x-axis, the label on the y-axis, and a title. Um, in this course, and in general, I like to use the uh, LaTeX to write labels. I don't know if you're familiar with LaTeX, but I like the way the fonts are done. So I'm going to use the uh, X label and the Y label command, 
and put the um, X and the Y in dollar signs so that they're mathematical symbols in LaTeX and use this interpreter LaTeX and then also set the font size. So I'm going to do this consistently in this course because I like the way this looks but you can choose uh, something else if you would like. And then in our final plot looks like this. So I think this is a nice looking circle with nice looking uh, labels. Okay, um, you need to know how to use the uh, help function. So let's see what we've done here. So plot, uh, here in the help I've already asked for plot. So plot, you can um, click and then you get the help documentation for plot. So this one particularly has a very long help file. It's something that I've read multiple times and uh, I very have to read it uh, quite frequently because there's a lot of things to uh, make plots better. Um, other things that we've done, we've called axis. So uh, axis set axis limits and aspect ratio has its own help page uh, to show you how to use axis. Um, we've used GCA, get current axis, that has its own help page, GCA, current axis. And uh, here you see that it, you can pick up the dot notation um, from uh, the help page. Um, but a lot of times I do get the uh, information just using Google. I use the MATLAB function plot.m all the time. It's a good idea to read the help pages so you can make your plot exactly the way you want it. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.